Italians, the last two winners of the FIFA World Cup, face off here in this vibrant, scorching city by the sea. The two goalkeepers, the two captains, Messrs Casillas and Buffon. The teams await a semi-final to see who will reach the Confederations Cup final to take on the Brazilians in the Maracanã in Rio on Sunday. Famous faces, familiar faces, teams who are used to winning. Between them here, five World Cups, three European titles. And here the first roar as the national flags appear in the stadium. The Estadio Castelao here in Fortaleza. It is hot, it is humid. The stage is set for a semi-final between two of the great European nations. National teams of Spain and Italy. Senhoras e senhores, amigos... One or two nervous, apprehensive faces down there, perhaps. The two very seasoned and savvy and worldly aware squads down there, Spain and Italy. Well, a year on from Kiev and Spain's four-goal perfection of tiki-taka. Can the Italians offer any more in the heat of Fortaleza? For the winners, ahead lie Brazil in Rio de Maracanã. In store here, surely we have a semi-final to really savour. Well, before the game, and before the anthems, the two captains, Messrs Iker Casillas and Gianluigi Buffon, will first make speeches on behalf of FIFA's anti-discrimination campaign. Senhoras e senhores, hoje a família do futebol comemora o 12º dia anti-discriminação. A FIFA e o comitê organizador local Lhes desejam as boas-vindas. Gerard Piquet é da half. E estão singer, orgulhosos de dedicar esta partida à luta mundial contra o preconceito e o racismo. Nós incentivamos todos os jogadores, treinadores e árbitros para juntos aos torcedores de todo o mundo dizer não a todas as formas de discriminação. Vamos ouvir as mensagens contra a discriminação dos capitães. Da Espanha, recebam o jogador número 1, um, Iker Casillas. E da Itália, recebam o jogador número 1, um, Gianluigi Buffon. Obrigado por sua atenção. Iker Casillas will be the first to speak. Em nome da seleção de Espanha, Declaro que rechazamos categóricamente todo tipo de discriminación por cuestión de raza, sexo, origen étnico, religión, orientación sexual y de cualquier otra índole. Con el poder del fútbol podemos ayudar a erradicar el racismo y la discriminación en nuestro deporte y en toda la sociedad. Por eso nos comprometemos a alcanzar esta meta y os pedimos que unáis a esta lucha. His coach Vicente Del Bosque now will hear from Gigi Buffon. Italiana, dichiaro che condanniamo qualsiasi tipo di discriminazione nel calcio e lanciamo un appello a tutti quelli che ci stanno guardando, ovunque si trovino nel mondo, affinché ci aiutino a eliminare la discriminazione dalla società e a raggiungere la massima integrazione nel nostro gioco. Se uniamo insieme le forze ce la possiamo fare. Dite no alla discriminazione, dite no al racismo. The message anti-racism and anti-discrimination of all kinds in the world game. A truly worthy message. Ladies and gentlemen, 
please stand for the national weapon of Spain. Senhoras e senhores, por favor, levantem-se para o hino nacional da Espanha. champions the world's top ranked side Spain in another semi-final and now the national weapon of Italy e agora o hino nacional da Itália the Azzurri against La Furia Roja two proper football teams this is a proper proper semi-final they know each other so well at the Euros they faced off twice a year ago and of course the final and that day Spain won by four goals to nil well, now we know Ike Casillas is still Spain's number one. The captain recalled at Victor Valls' expense. Both Roberto Soldado and Cesc Fabregas out with minor knocks. Fernando Torres and David Silva come in. All bar Torres began the European final in Kiev 12 months ago. And there you see the FIFA banner say no to racism. These semis have been picked as occasions to highlight FIFA's campaign against all forms of football discrimination. Before the game, friendly togetherness. And that's how all sport should be. It's a revert to three centre-halves, Chiellini, Barzelli and Bonucci, all three clubmates of Juventus. The Azzurri's Mario Balotelli-shaped hole is filled by a World Cup winner, Bologna's Alberto Gilardino. In total, Italy make six changes for this semi-final today. In charge, the man who oversaw Spain's finest moment, the World Cup final in Johannesburg, England's Howard Webb, who burned, by the way, 
in his last game here in Fortaleza, 3,000 calories. Conditions here are very, very hot. Vicente Del Bosque has won the lot apart from the Confederations Cup. The project Prandelli now three years in, one major final, now a semi-final. It's progress. The atmosphere is raucous, cacophonous, Fortaleza and the Confederations Cup second semi-final. Brazil awaits the winners. Webb's whistle, Spain's start. The second semi-final is underway here at the Castellao in Fortaleza. Atmosphere is sizzling on a scorching afternoon. Can the Italians stop the world champion juggernaut of Spain? Long ball here for Pedro's run. Pedro's control too, and the ball in towards Fernando Torres. And the first scare there for Gigi Buffon. Not quite the cross which Pedro sent in for Torres for the second goal against the Nigerians here four days ago. An early Spanish warning sign there fired to Italy. Barzali out of play here for a Spanish throw in. Iniesta, Busquets. Years there for how Spain retained the ball. The tiki taka has not gone down well here in Brazil. Locals feel the style is maybe rather slow and hesitant, not quite the Joga Benito the local fans have been raised on. And Gerard Piquet. Busquets, Iniesta. Motors on now, finds Torres. David Silva for Jordi Alba. Xavi. Lengthy spell of Spanish passing, that's just the way they operate. Iniesta, Xavi's touch, good touch here for David Silva, for Torres. And now Pedro shot! Across the face, wide of goal, Spain close. Came after such a lengthy Spanish spell of possession, and that will be the way this game goes. Every Spanish game here so far has had uh, pass completion above 80%. And here they come again. Ramos for Chavi. Torres. Dispossessed. Here goes De Rossi, good one too by De Rossi. Giladino, Giacarini. And then another cross, no shot there from uh, Giacarini. Those black armbands, by the way, are in memory of Stefano Burganova, the ex Azzurri player who died just today at the age of 49 after a long illness. This is the Italian's first opportunity. And by Giacarini, but why? Casillas restored to Spain's goal and restored as their captain. Hasn't played since the first game here against Uruguay. David Silva. Through the elbow for Busquets. Iniesta. And Iniesta caught late. And the challenge from Giladino. Player filling the shoes here of the very hard to replace Mario Balotelli, who's now back in Italy with a, a thigh complaint. Yeah. 
Jordi Alba. Busquets. And Jordi Alba for Iniesta. Another patient Spain move here, beginning to just swell and build. That'll be a free kick. No play goes on. Pirlo. Pirlo de Rossi. Pirlo. Terribly done. Dispossessed here by Sergio Ramos for Spain for Andres Iniesta. Footwork mesmerizing. The ball through towards Sergio Ramos, too, was nearly on his wavelength, wasn't it? Iniesta can be just a joyous player just to sit back and watch and sit back and save her. True technician. De Rossi, Barzali, Bonucci. Seven Italians from the champions Juventus in the 11. Six Spaniards here play for the Spanish champions Barcelona. And the chase on here for Candrova. And Casillas alert. Busquets to reach Xavi. Spain's passing is probing here. Now penetrating with Iniesta. Ahead David Silva. In the box now Jordi Alba and two more. Iniesta. Iniesta still here. Silva. Now some space for Xavi, maybe. Xavi for Fernando Torres. Chiellini's header away is a good and considered one. This is Pedro. Spanish pressure. Italians playing on the counter so far in the semi-final. Xavi again for Spain. Alvaro Arbelo. Hoping here is Giorgio Chiellini. Goalkeeper and the three centre halves all play together at Juventus. It is a uh, defensive unit the Italians know well, but it has been here breached eight times in three games so far. It's been a major talking point back home. The Italians, only so defensively tight, have been rather porous here in Brazil. Bonucci. They have gone to the three centre halves today. Marchisio takes turns. Pielo. Barzali. Maggio. Candreva's burst. Candreva's cross towards Giladino. That is going to be the first Italian corner of this semi final. Promising counter sorted here by the Italians. Good chase by Candreva. Few better dead ball takers in the world than the man getting the ovation here, Andrea Pirlo for Italy. In by Pirlo. Oh, and the header. Oh, the bar there from Maggio, was it number two who got up? And Maggio scored four goals for Napoli in their runners up season. Serie A just finished. Never scored in his 27 previous games for the national team. Casillas began less than half of Real Madrid's league games last season with Jose Mourinho. Casillas clear. Emanuele Giaccarini. May well be Spain's toughest test so far. They did meet, as I say, twice at the Euros a year ago. The opening game, a one all draw. Again, that Del Bosque says the Italians were the better team in. The final was Spain's masterclass, 4 0 in Kiev. That's one goal so far. Ramos. Iniesta. Chavo. Silva plotting, scheming, conspiring there. He's got support behind from Iniesta, couldn't find it. De Rossi with a lunge. 
And there's only a throw in here. Anthony's game plan you feel here is to stifle, stymie, contain, then hit on the counter. Chiellini hits it long here towards Gilardino, covering is Sergio Ramos, there's Marquisio. Only a goal kick, Marquisio, who is Juventus to the core, born in Turin. Juventus supporting family. Welcome to the Juve great and Italian great, the World Cup winner in 82, Marco Tardelli. A job well done so far for the coach Prandelli. World Cup coming up, of course, next year. Should they qualify? They are four points clear with uh, four to play in their qualifying group at the moment with three home games remaining. Chavi. Iniesta. Spanish patience. Italian numbers back here. Xavi's lost out. Giacarini long towards Giladino. Busquets has to stretch. A 10 gone goalless. Silva now for Pedro for Spain. Inside Iniesta here. to play there, miscontrolled by uh, Jordi Alba, who scored twice against Nigeria here four days ago, as the left-back. Back here with uh, Gigi Buffon, now 35. Full cap shine now of the Italian national record held by Fabio Cannavaro. 132nd game here today for the national team for the goalkeeper, debut 16 years ago now against Russia. So Jacarini may be up against Sergio Ramos. Piquet. A few teams enjoy the ball in tight areas quite the way the Spanish seem to. Never seem rushed, hurried or panicked, do they, when they get the ball with an opponent right on their toes. by Silva here for Fernando Torres through the gearbox Torres change of pace robbed by Chiellini Giacarini Giladino after the early couple of scares just feel now Italy have begun to found, find a, a rhythm or just a platform here to build from Giacarini. Against Spain, the first job is to win the ball back from them. Then you can impose yourselves on them. Iniesta. Xavi available, as he always is. Ahead, Torres, Silva. Arbelo. But Pedro was the target. Barzali covering here. Italy, uh, I know Phil Prandelli said in his pre match press conference yesterday that they want to make the likes of Chabi run more than they're used to here. It is a very hot day, of course. Chabi's in his what, 34th year now. Maybe uh, a good case for that. Here is Chabi. Never wastes a ball, does he? Busquets. Xavi. Iniesta. Iniesta. And Pedro Iniesta's gone again. Iniesta. Lovely one. And stopped there by the block of, I think, Pirlo. Candreva. Just caught there by Pedro. Rueful smile flashed towards Howard Webb here for this collision with Antonio Candreva. 
Seven La Liga goals for Barcelona last season for Pedro. Chiellini. Bonucci can drive with space to attack here too. Ahead here, Maggio. Maggio and Giardino's touch. No real purchase. But was there a good chance here for the Italians? A counter attack, it may be their best way to goal today, you feel. Maggio for Giardino and the Bologna striker couldn't finish. Jordi Alba and uh, a fine Euros last summer scored in the final against the Italians got himself the move to Barcelona from Valencia Abolo now Gerard Piquet and here Torres just waits to sprint away when the ball comes it doesn't for now Sergio Ramos now they go long, looking for Pedro's pace. Barzali covering. De Rossi. Giladino sees Candreva's surge. In towards Marquisio, but the cross disappointing there from Candreva. With Pedro here, a slip by Barzali, and David Silva gets away. Inside Pedro, further on Torres. It's towards Fernando Torres. Great control, lovely touch. Xavi, Silva. Watch there by Chiellini Torres. Those two first met at the under 16 Euros 12 years ago. Torres and Chiellini, and many battles down the years since. Italia, Italia, the chant goes up. Long ball at the top here too, and it's well up by Casillas. Well, Maggio there, the right wing back, with that rapid fire burst for Italy. And Casillas was alert and aware enough to come and just block it away. Now Chavi. Torres. Torres. Arbolo. Arbolo has crossed David Silva, the target here. Candreva is just marshalling him. Candreva, great skill to escape here too. Ahead he's got Giladino. Lights the fires again. Candreva still super run. And earns the free kick too. Well, here he took on two Spanish players, got away from both. The third here, Jordi Alba fouled him. And here that Maggio chance onside. And Casillas here gets his position just right. Good save. Maggio there, the attacking right wing back. And Casillas alert to make a fine stop. Italian free kick. In the box, one, two, three, four, five, to find two more stand on the edge, adjacent as well. Andrea Pirlo with the dead ball for Italy. In by Pirlo, oh, and a flashing header from De Rossi. Italy here are making one or two pretty good chances so far. Roma's Daniele De Rossi with this latest one for them. Got away from Torres, didn't he, there? And that header just zips wide of Casillas' goal. Italian chance again. This semi by no means a foregone conclusion. Giorgio Chiellini. Giladino for Giacorini. Giacarini goes on again. 
Looks for it and finds Maggio in here. Marchisio! Oh! Again, Italy promising. Threatening two on the counter. Giacarini here for Maggio again pushing on. And Marchisio with the lunging header. Once again here, Italy uh, causing Spain genuine concern and problems. Maggio, Marchisio wide. Six one Italy in terms of the attempts on goal so far. There's a, a surprising stat, maybe given how Spain began the match. This one is in the balance firmly. Spain's sternest, stiffest test of this Confederations Cup thus far. Xavi. Now Pedro. Xavi and Pique are below. Good first 20. Open in Jordan. Just the hint maybe of a surprise result in store. David Silva, lovely touch to find Iniesta. The weight of that pass was simply a dream. The pace of Jordi Alba, but too much pace on the ball. These two teams, of course, the last two winners of the FIFA World Cup. Spain have won the last two Euros as well. Neither nation has won this Confederations Cup. Brazil in Rio on Sunday, the final waiting for one of them. Here's Arbeloa. Iniesta ahead, Silva's made the run. Here's Torres. Caught by Bonucci. Quick free kick here for Pedro too. Pedro's cross, looking for Torres, finds only Chiellini. Pirlo. Just boxed in here and he's made the slip to Torres, away from Pirlo. Fernando Torres, out to Busquets. Cross poor. Maggio was super cool. And now Maggio sets off. Pirlo, the almost deep-line quarterback in this Italian system. Candreva. Bonucci. On to Giorgio Chiellini here. Now Leonardo Bonucci again. De Rossi. Giladino offside here. Flag up on that far side from uh, England's Darren Can from Norfolk on the East Coast. Xavi. Italy's game plan thus far is working a treat. Xavi. I think one or two cat calls and whistles here for Spain when they go through one of these short passing, interchanging, ticky tacker spells. Yes, has been robbed here. Gilardino is a hard-working striker. He'll put in a, a good shift in Bellatelli's shoes today. That's for sure, the number 11 for Italy. Sergio Ramos for Xavi. Tight, cagey semi-final so far. Two big European nations, European rivals. This was the European Championship final in Kiev 12 months ago. Won by Spain 4 to 0 at the Olympiski. I'm sure Alba scored in that final. His first goal for Spain, that was too. Iniesta. Iniesta motors, accelerates. Barzali stops it. Chabi's control. Busquets header. There goes Jordi Alba. Iniesta dispossessed there by Pirlo. Iniesta again. 
Torres beaten by his old adversary, Chiellini now as offsets Jacarini here with pace and purpose. With him, Marchisio. Pirlo. Pirlo's pass. Candreva for Maggio. Maggio looking for Gilardino. Taken by Inca Casillas. That was calm even for Spain at the back. That ball to Sergio Ramos. Is that first crack, that first yield going to come from in the semi-final? Very tight so far, very edgy so far. This gets for Xavi. Pedro. Xavi, David Silva, Torres, it'll just break away here for a throw-in. And this is kept in play, it is kept in play by Arbaloa. Oh, and then Busquets caught by Marquisio. Another quick Spanish free kick. Never want to waste a second when they could have the ball, do they? Pedro, Iniesta for Torres. Both these teams invented their own systems. At least Catanaccio was proven fallible. How about Tiki Taka? This is Chavi. David Silva. Chavi, oh, delightful feat. Here's David Silva, couldn't turn. Well, Chavi there with a, a lovely roll away from the opponent. De Rossi. Oh, Christian Maggio has had a bright game so far. The Neapolitan. Chiellini. Marchisio. Pica here will just watch this one away. PK clear, it's helped on by Busquets. the team's 32nd meeting down the years. Italy have won just one of the last eight. To the edge, the head-to-head -head by 10 wins to nine down the years, which goes back to 1920 in the Olympic Games in Antwerp. Candreva. Off goes Maggio again. they feel that Maggio against Jordi Alba is a battle the Italians can uh, get things from in this game. Maggio very much uh, an offensive attacking wing-back more than just a, a regular right-back. De Rossi. De Rossi's burst. Covered by Busquets and uh, here's Sergio Ramos. Spain's way. Decent touch. Never lose it. Presented Del Bosque, the first Marquis of Del Bosque, given that uh, title by uh, King Juan Carlos after the World Cup win three years ago. Busquets. Iniesta. David Silva. Iniesta teasing, menacing, tormenting. Arbelo. Torres doesn't get there. Chiellini does.
Sergio Busquets. Head Torres, the most advanced here for Spain. Pedro's made the run too. This is David Silva. With him, Iniesta, who's arriving. And doesn't take any stride there, Iniesta. Now 29 debut came against Russia seven years ago, Iniesta. The man whose goal won Spain's elusive first World Cup. Pirlo. Now Andrea Barzali. Daniele De Rossi. Both teams content to trade possession. Almost these opening skirmishes sparring in the match. Giladino. Now De Rossi sees the run of Marchisio. Offside given here. Flag up from Darren Can again. And Torres caught from behind by Leonardo Bonucci. Bonucci says sorry. And leg wrapped around Fernando Torres. Needs one more to equal the all-time Confederations Cup record of nine goals. Held by Ronaldinho and Cuauhtémoc Blanco, the famous Mexican of the bounce. Again, Spanish patience. Again, Brazilian booze. Here's Torres, and Torres was caught again there. Foul against Maggio this time. And Torres here as he nicks away from. Maggio, just that kick comes in on the uh, ankle. That'll be a sore one for Fernando Torres, that's for sure. Now Chavi. Busquets. Arbeloa. Pedro shielding there for him. Andrea Pirlo, and he now will find uh, Daniele De Rossi. He sees Jacarini's run, finds him. Inside, he's got uh, Giladino. Giacarini. Marchisio. In goes the cross. It's just too high, the header away from Ramos for Maggio. Barzagli. No foul. Yes, there was a foul by Torres. Play went. There was no advantage. Play called back by Howard Webb. Yes, you, Fernando. Just called Andrea Barzelli here, one of the five World Cup winners in this Italian squad from 2006. Recalled two years ago after four years away from the national team picture. Barzelli was playing in Germany with uh, Wolfsburg and maybe was out of sight and out of mind for the national team. Pirlo in, Alba away. Barzelli. Pirlo's back in touch, the fans love that. Well, a, a game here to sit back and savour the performances of the likes of Iniesta and Pirlo. Possession is with Spain, as it almost always is. Giacarini. Pirlo. As I say, make sure you enjoy and savor Pirlo and Chavi today. Both in their 30s now and still able to do stuff like that. Beautiful. Pure talent. L'architetto, the architect. Good crowd, good setting. Engaging game so far, goalless though, in Fortaleza, the Castellao. It's 
Chiellini. Giladino. Hands off Piquet, looks for and finds Marchisio. Pirlo. Candreva stopped by Alba now and Spain come away. A game where there must be a winner, of course, if it's level at 90 extra time and penalties are on the agenda. Jordi Alba. Andres Iniesta. Pedro against Giacarini. Battle won by Pedro in towards Torres. Good covering by Chiellini. Very seasoned and uh, experienced defensive unit the Italians have here at club level, of course, and now with the Azzurri as well. Seven Juve players in the 11. And one of them, Pirlo. Back to Napoli's matchup. Now, Rome is De Rossi. Candreva of Lazio, cup winner with them in May against Roma. Giacarini's run is promising. The cross through power as well. Oh, Casillas makes a save and there was no flag. Again, Christian Maggio steals into the Azzurri and nearly gives the Italians the lead. Maggio here, the right wing back onside, and Casillas with the block. Spanish free kick. Xavi on it. Xavi for Iniesta. Sergio Ramos, Xavi on here for Fernando Torres, Torres, oh, big chance, Spain's best so far, it falls to the Confederations Cup specialist to Fernando Torres, lovely turn here away from Barzali and the shot pulled across and wide of Buffon's goal here, Torres makes it, doesn't quite take it. Big moment there for Spain, potentially has gone by. De Rossi. Again, they look to Maggio, and again they find Maggio. Candreva. Candreva's crossed Marquisio near post the target. Well, the game now becoming open as the halfway is on, maybe in the heat, place beginning to wilt a little bit. The Bosque's men have seen Torres have their best chance. Actually, with this player Maggio, and have now twice tested Casillas to the limit. And there he is again. With rather more routine work this time, uh, Ike Casillas. 13 years now, uh, a Spanish first pick. Andres Iniesta. Busquets. Hey there by Maggio doing his more uh, defensive duty with good effect. Iniesta stopped there by two in white shirts and now the break. Led here by Candreva. Who again here will stretch his legs and use his good pace for Italy. Iniesta, and now uh, Gerard Piquet again here for the World and Double European Champions Spain. 
Never won this Confederations Cup, though. Iniesta. Iniesta, Pedro Iniesta's gone again. Iniesta, clever. Couldn't find Torres. Almost too clever. A few teams move the ball in those tight areas quite as well or quite as quickly as the Spanish do. That's what you have to fight, you have to fend off when you play them. Pedro accelerates. Pedro sees the run of Jordi Alba. Read by Gianluigi Buffon. Absorbing contest. Proper game to proper sides. Xavi, oh, delightful. Stopped by Chiellini. De Rossi. Xavi with a challenge. There's been talk here of uh, Xavi Del Bosque at least semi falling out over the vast number of changes made in the, the group games. Huge use of squad rotation by Del Bosque in the first three matches here. This is, I think it's safe to say, pretty much his first choice team given who's fit and available to him. Here's De Rossi. Fabregas and Soldado missing here with minor knocks from the last game with Nigeria. Silver and Torres in their steads today. That's Chiellini. Now Emanuele Giaccarini. De Rossi. Goalless, but good so far. This second Confederations Cup semi in Fortaleza on Brazil's very hot northeastern coast. Offside here in Giardino for Italy. Kickoff here was at 4 p.m. local time, so the shadows beginning to lengthen. Gets dark around 6 p.m. in Brazil. Jordi Alba. Xavi. Attempt to toy and tease. No real thrust in this move as yet. Again, there, the close control was a joy. Here goes Iniesta. Iniesta injects the urgency now, but it's going to break away to Candreva. His pace has already been a weapon for Italy in this match. Pirlo, first time for Zaccarini, Super Bowl. Emanuele Giaccarini here. Giaccarini twists and turns. Shot blocked by Ramos. De Rossi punched away by Casillas. Now Maggio. Well, Casillas would say so far the game's busier goalkeeper. Given away. Marquisio for Pirlo. Italy here on the counter, and making chances, making moments happen here. Casillas there with a fist away, no attempt to catch this ball, which can move and dip at the last moment. The Cafusa ball has given us some great goals so far in this Confederations Cup. At least Pirlo's against the Mexicans in their first game. Torres on. Barzagli covering. Drops to Sergio Busquets for Xavi. Pedro, Busquets wants and Busquets gets. Sergio Ramos now for Alvaro Abelo. Busquets with Pirlo, play goes on here because it's come to Xavi. 
comes off the referee here to Candreva now for Pirlo for Italy. Liskin Maggio. First half's last minute upon us. And here there'll be no additional time in this first period. Iniesta. Fernando Torres. Andres Iniesta. Iniesta looks for Chavi's run here and nearly finds him. Spain don't send too many crosses in uh, with their approach play. That was a cross for Chavi. Not the archetypal uh, target man, is he? But nearly finds him. One last Italian attack in this first half in Fortaleza. Pielo. Barzali. Chiellini. Final seconds. Final, final knockings of this first half, which now is over. Howard Webb's whistle. An even game. Torres had a missed Spain's best chance when he broke away, but De Rossi and twice Maggio have forced good saves. Mika Casillas back in Spain's goal. This has been so far a well-fought, tight semi in the balance still. Half-time score here in Fortaleza. It's Spain nil, Italy nil. I saw the world champions. Someone to leave on. Balzali off. Suggests a, a more orthodox four man defence here for the Azzurri for the second half. Italians start the second half here, goalless in Fortaleza. The second FIFA Confederations Cup semi, Brazil waiting in Rio for the winners. The Italians in that first half were the better team. Less possession, but what they had of the ball they did more with. Here's Chiellini. De Rossi has gone to play as a centre-half, it seems, in this system. But there's still three centre-backs. Here Maggio, or Maggio's cross, looking for Giaccarini, it's got height on it and pace on it, and too much of both. And Dolboski saw his team break the world record in the last game, 28 games in international competitive games unbeaten. Broke the French record from the 90s set by uh, Emile Jacquet and Roger Le Maire's great sides. Only four defeats for Spain since they won the World Cup. All friendly matches. That's Bonucci. Giladino offside here. Flag from Mike Malarkey this time stops. The Azzurri in their tracks. Close call. The officials, the English officials, the ones who took charge of the World Cup final in Soccer City 2010 and also that year's Champions League final as well between Inter Milan and uh, FC Bayern Munich Arbolo for Spain David Silva Gerard Piquet Teams have given Spain a test quite as severe as the one the Italians gave in that first half, you know. Bonucci, Montalivo's first touch of the game. 
the blog of one Italian journalist who was saying that the Italians for years now have almost had when they face Spain and Spanish clubs this inferiority complex well that appears to have been blown away today Jordi Alba Sergio Ramos Iniesta fleet of foot right of idea Chavi now Fernando Torres Torres reverse ball here Iniesta who shot is screwed well wide of Buffon's goal promising move maybe the angle here was always against Andres Iniesta really a regular score just three league goals for Barcelona in the last Spanish season and we did score Spain's goal of goals in Soccer City this is Ricardo Montalivo joined Milan from uh, Fiorentina a year ago having begun with uh, homely Atalanta in Bergamo Maggio Maggio stopped by Jordi Alba who's having to play a much more defensive game than he did against the Nigerians isn't he Jordi Alba Maggio Montalivo and ready for Maggio Pedro can break away. The control is good. Held up by Maggio. Iniesta. Mr. Rossi playing as a third uh, Zatz centre half in the place of Basalio. You can assume has gone off with uh, maybe a, a minor injury. Iniesta. Xavi pressured. This is Sergio Busquets. And then over here is Jordi Alba. And Alba's cross is good, but it's into the arms of Gigi Buffon. And now the Italians attack themselves sharply. Just trying to take on the Spanish at their own game here, the Italians, with their uh, quick restarts and patient build-up. If you go and beat and join them. This is Daniele De Rossi. Chiellini. Giladino here now for uh, Candreva. The pass asked too much there of Antonio Candreva. Jesus Navas to come on for Spain. The wide player who's just made the move from Sevilla to England's Manchester City. David Sorg, we think, is going to be the man to make way here for his future clubmate. Torres. Torres couldn't get away. Carucci sees to that. This is Daniele De Rossi for Italy. Looking for uh, not finding there the run of Marchisio. In goes Chiellini bravely, strongly, with purpose. Chiellini for Giacarini. Cross too deep, too long though for in the middle of Giladino. Kept alive here well by Candreva though. It's uh, stayed in play. Candreva's cross. Good endeavour there by Antonio Candreva. Just the final cross here has too much uh, zip and pace on it. It is David Silva off and Jesus Navas on. Leaving Sevilla after 13 years at the club man and boy. So David Silva makes way and Navas comes on. 27th cap, two goals in that time. Last one came at the Euros against Croatia in the group stage a year ago in Eastern Europe.
Piero. Now De Rossi for Leonardo Bonucci. Andrea Pirlo. Christian Maggio. Well, Navas has made the run here. The player has just come on. Here is Jesus Navas. It's a lovely turn. Good change of pace, too, there from Jesus Navas. He's looking to win the corner, too, and he has done, has he? Yes, he has. First involvement and it's to good effect there for Jesus Navas who's got great pace and a, a good turn in his locker Spain's first second half corner indeed their first of the match full stop taken by Xavi Sergio Ramos he feels he was blocked off there by uh, Chiellini unfairly well, Webb doesn't uh, think that was the case at all. Just there may be a little nudge from Chiellini. A few nations know the defensive tricks of the trade quite like the Italians. The nation that gave birth to man-marking in Catanaccio. Well, uh, a knock here for uh, Alberto Giladino. World Cup winner, one of the five in the squad here from 2006. Just caught there by Sergio Ramos. De Rossi for Italy. Absorbing, tight, cagey, edgy, anxious semi so far in Fortaleza. This is uh, Riccardo Montalivo for Italy now for Christian Maggio. Casillas with his first second half test. Target here, the pace of Jesus Navas. Well seen, well found by Casillas. And then uh, wrestled over by Giorgio Chiellini. Chiellini, uh, proper old school, hands on kind of centre half who lives and dies by the sword. For this free kick, Spain look to Xavi. PK among those here in that red throng in the penalty area. Whipped in by Xavi. And the header is for nothing more than a goal kick but there was a flag anyway there I think for maybe an offside Back to Darren can see here offside against Sergio Ramos second half 10 gone no goals this is De Rossi up to Montalivo Andreva, Maggio. The intensity we saw from Italy in the first half. Maybe the heat is beginning to become a factor. It's a very different heat to the European heat. It's very uh, close and muggy and humid inside this stadium. This is Sergio Ramos. Pedro. And with him he's got uh, Jordi Alba. Pedro through here for Fernando Torres. And Torres checks. Jesus Navas! has had a big impact so far since coming on. There are shots that really worked Gigi Buffon, it's well held too. Make sure no scraps came back off his body there, the Italian captain. Maybe 
Spain since half-time more offensively brighter and threatening. Actually, maybe more conservative. De Rossi. Bonucci. Chiellini. Chiello. Montalivo. Italian patience now. Their turn to toy and tease. Their turn to play the neat. Close passing. This is Christian Maggio. Maggio's ball. Italy's throw in. Candreva. Of the Spanish demolition job of the Italians we saw in the European final a year ago. That was 4 0. This one is much more like the group game between the two when they drew 1 1 in their first group match at the European Championship. A game that Dobrowski himself said this week his team was second best. Same true again so far here, maybe. Here's Candreva. Andrea Pirlo. De Rossi. Giaccarini, here's Chiellini, offside. Not the most mobile Chiellini in there, he was just unable to really time his run and stay onside. But Prandelli's tactics here, his game plan have worked really well so far. Given Spain by far their sternest, stiffest test of this FIFA Confederations Cup and maybe on their stiffest test since the World Cup itself. De Rossi, Maggio, no foul by Pedro, and now Spain come away, led by Sergio Ramos. Poor ball there from Pedro back on to try and find uh, Sergio Ramos, over hit. His team in the game, make no mistake about that, De Bosque Spanish. Not having things all their own way at all here in Fortaleza. A proper examination so far. By the team they replace as world champions, Italy. Andrea Pirlo for Daniele De Rossi. Sees a run but can't find the run there of Emanuele Giaccarini. Italians may well see this Confederations Cup as a, a chance for redemption for the World Cup three years ago when of course as the holders they were out in the first round with no wins, a couple of draws against Paraguay and uh, New Zealand before they lost to Slovakia and lost us first for their last group game. Only nine players survived from the World Cup squad here in this Confederations Cup. Torres, now Navas. Jesus Navas has come on and maybe given a little extra pace, another dimension to Spain's attack on that right-hand side compared to the man who replaced David Silva. The heat's a factor maybe as the game is slowing here rather noticeably. Another Montalivo long for the run of Giladino. Giacarini. Montalivo thinks about it. Marshall, though, by the presence of Sergio Busquets. Montalivo. Giladino's right. Offside, flag up. Hard working, Giladino. Now Chavi for the Spanish. Iniesta. One made by Jordi Alba here and found two by Iniesta. And nips the impressive Candreva, who's had a very good game so far. Pirlo. Up. 
Chiellini. The more the game goes on, the more the Italians will fancy this. Spain, Group B winners, three wins, 15 goals. Italy, Group A runners up behind the host nation, Brazil. And Brazil beat them, wins over Uruguay and uh, so Mexico and uh, Japan. Foul here on Chabi. Iniesta. Control and change of pace here. An utter joy, Andres Iniesta for Spain. What a run, Iniesta! He's just got it, hasn't he? And lots of it too. Skill, pace. And here went out the Italians and just a shot lacking. Iniesta in full flow, one of world football's most glorious sights. Manchester for Italy. Looking towards the halfway mark in the second half now in Fortaleza. Now the defence has yet cracked. Marquisio. Pique's block. Torres and De Rossi come together. Decision goes Spain's way. De Rossi and Torres there with a pretty meaty coming together. Decision goes there against the high boot, I think, of the Italian. Just pull out. Yellow card shown too there to De Rossi. The game's first caution. Away off the uh, Italian almost stand in centre half now. Playing in Barzagli's place. Torres okay. Shaken, maybe a little stirred, but able to resume his place as Spain's fulcrum ahead of their attack. Iniesta hooked on here to Pedro now for Jordi Alba. Ramos, lovely ball from the centre half. Space now for Busquets and for Iniesta. Busquets has never scored for Spain. That was Navas. Xavi, within Pedro here, Xavi may go on himself, he has done now to find Iniesta. Cross though, easy take for one of the world's best. Did you perform? Marquisio caught there by Abaloa. Marquisio, who is Juventus through and through. Winner of the last two Scudetto titles back to back with uh, the Turin Giants. A boyhood fan of the Nerazzurri as well. And the coach has got his tactics here certainly spot on. It's a good way to view it. It is a, a large stadium here, so he can be sat quite a way back from the action in Fortaleza. Kind of over 56,000 here today for this. Marquisio OK, I think, to resume. Fifty-six thousand and eighty-three, the official crowd here for this second semi-final. Third and last game here at the Castellau in Fortaleza. Spanish fans hoping for another major trophy. Shakira, Colombian, but of course supporting her man. So a PK in Spain.
Claudio Marchisio. Maggio. Maggio's cross blocked away by Pedro there for Spain. Game in the balance. Good to watch. Back heel touch here. Maggio in. Maggio's pulled back. Chance on Marchisio blocked away. It was PK with the block. Made sure he was in the right place there to deny Marquisio a clear strike at the Spanish goal. Here's though a corner. Much better his feet. His feet is dangerous. In by Pirlo. And to leave her back in. I'm sure Shakira enjoyed this. Gerard Pique covering to block Marquisio brilliantly. Not in by Jordi Alba. Torres on. Chiellini. Pelo caught by Torres. Yellow card, maybe no. Referee's going uh, to have a word here with Torres, maybe just that. Italy have uh, Roberto Aquilani warming up, the uh, midfielder from these days Fiorentina. Giaccarini. Chiellini. De Rossi. Marchisio. And invites Montalivo here to work it out to Maggio. Candreva, Italy, looking to pick out that killer ball. As evening falls in Fortaleza, no goals in this all-European affair. Just the second ever all-European Confederations Cup tie, by the way. Here goes uh, Marchisio. Giladino. Giladino here, Candreva. Candreva shot block, right onto Maggio here. Cleared away by Pedro for Spain. Bonucci keeps it alive. Montalivo. his best second half spell by some measure will it force the first goal Mario lays from the home fans here Brazilian fans for Italian touches Maggio Candreva goes on and a flag up here for a free kick for the earlier challenge Jordi Alba on Christian Maggio the play went on here but there was no Advantage here for Italy, and it's called back for that challenge there by Alba on Maggio. To once more hand Pirlo a chance to work his spell. Sooner or later, this player, Pirlo, will get one of these free kicks right. Is it this one? Six in the box to find here for Italy. Pirlo, the architect, the plotter, the schemer. The free kick taker. In by Pirlo. Met by Piquet. Inside now the last 20 of 90 minutes. Maybe more to come. Pirlo's corner. And they had a looping, but up onto the top from Chiellini and this is certainly Italy's most potent second half stint isn't it putting real pressure on the world champions making Spain sweat in the sticky heat of Fortaleza I mentioned before the game that the uh, referee Howard Webb when he took charge of the Brazil-Mexico game here burned some 3,000 calories the players will burn more than that. It is sapping. It is sticky. 
and it's humid. Iniesta. Oh, Pedro here in behind them, the flag is staying down. Pedro, Buffon comes to meet. And Buffon does just enough to put off Pedro. The angles here from Buffon were spot on, as they were too for the assistant Darren Can. Onside, Buffon made himself there a very big barrier. Buffon's clearance is picked up here by uh, Montalivo. Bonucci. This is Riccardo Montalivo for the Italians. Bonucci. They have to slide the ball down the line there to Christian Maggio for Italy. Spanish drew their European semi nil nil with the Portuguese and went on penalties. Will that be the case again here for them? Candrova for Italy. Cross came off. Jordi Alba last though for an Italian corner. Of normal time, just over 15 minutes left to play in Fortaleza. In the balance. Italy with a corner, the fifth of the game, in by Candreva here, won by De Rossi, cleared by Jordi Alba. Now on his own here, Jesus Navas out of play. The way things are, with a quarter of an hour left to play at the Castellao, waiting for that first goal. Juan Mata about to come on for Spain as well. Pedro, we think, is going to be the man to be withdrawn by Del Bosque. Mata, a scorer against the Italians in the European Championship final in Kiev. Onside here, Candreva. Covered by Sergio Ramos. Here in a succession of absolute corners. Not really trouble to see us in the second half, an awful lot. The noise levels, though, are raising by the minute. In by Candreva, met by Sergio Ramos. Candreva, Montalivo. Giacarini now for Daniele De Rossi. De Rossi looks for Marchisio but can't find him. It will though walk its way across to Candreva. Hey. And will be cry. Not given against Pedro. Play goes on. Now below a chab he's lost out here. Pirlo. Giladino chasing but coming across to make sure there was no chance there was Sergio Ramos. Teams have a change forthcoming. Mata and Aquilani to come on for the two teams. Montolivo, what a tremendous first Milan season. He has to be their captain to replace Massimo Ambrosini next season at De San Siro. De Rossi. He will say will replace the great Totti as Roma's captain. Bonucci. And again here, Leonardo Bonucci, ex of Bari, now for three years with Juventus. De Rossi, Chiellini, Italian tiki taka almost. And here now the run of Giacolini, can they find him? Claimed well by Casillas. 
was neat and short until they saw that long ball was on to play Jacarini in. And that's got him in too. Possession in the second half, much, much closer. This, though, is Torres for Spain. Fernando Torres for Pedro. Pedro, good balance. Goes on. He's got support there from Jordi Alba, but uh, Pedro has won the corner. Has he? No, he hasn't. Last touch shows how it came off the Barcelona winger. And that is Pedro's last action. Juan Mata, 20 goals for Chelsea last season. Will come only Torres, but his club outscored him. Two English Chelsea seasons, and in both of those campaigns, he's been named the club's player of the season. There's been talk this window of maybe interest from Barcelona for Juan Mata. Player who left Valencia two years ago. So here comes Mata to win his 28th cap. Eight previous goals. And Marquisio coming up for Italy and in his place will come Alberto Aquilani. And a really good first season with uh, Fiorentina. Scored himself seven goals in Serie A in 25 league matches last season. Placing here the Juventus man Marquisio. Hot, hot evening. Hot contest so far too, with just over 10 minutes of normal time left to play. Let the Castell out. Looming at this stage, you would say. Extra time and maybe even penalties. Only three previous Confederations Cup shootouts. All by a quirk in North Mexico. Sergio Ramos for Fernando Torres. Same handball, play goes on with Torres here, he felt he was caught too, and Hadwell does concur with him. And Torres had in that first half by far Spain's best chance when he turned away from Barzali. Torres sprints, Fernando Torres, Mata with him, finds his club mate. Jordi Alba. Here's the cross. What about Keeling here? And he's far away, though, is Jesus Navas. And Navas into the arms of Buffon. And here come the Azzurri. Game has still a good ebb and flow to it. Ball one back here by Spain, and it's with Iniesta. Fernando Torres. Torres. No gamble taken there, really, by Iniesta, was that? Ten to play, now nine to play. Still waiting for the first goal. No goalless games in the Confederations Cup so far. This match number 14 of 16. Pirlo. And Aquilani here now. It comes on to Candreva's possession. Candreva's cross for Tess Casillas. Equal to it. Still goalless, still this one is anybody's. European heavyweights, both in the world's top ten in ranking. Spain won, Italy eight. The last two winners of the FIFA World Cup. Brazil in Rio on Sunday waiting. Here's Mata. At the World Cup, Spain were the 1-0 specialists. And the knockout stage, certainly. The Germans with Puyol's header in their semi-final in South Africa, 1-0. This is Sergio Ramos for Spain.
De Rossi. Antonio Candreva, support now offered and taken from Christian Maggio. Pirlo. Now Giorgio Chiellini for the Italians, seven to play. Aquilani, Giaccarini. Oh, and the run was made but not seen there by Montalivo. Oh, you sense now some very tired limbs out there. It's uh, a sapping heat. But here comes Jesus Navas for Spain. Can he get there first here with uh, Buffon? Not this time. Fresh legs here from Aquilani. Giaccarini. Aquilani couldn't go on. In the way with Gerard Piquet. Game now becoming open as the players tire. Game stretched. Fernando Torres. Torres still here. Here's Jesus Navas. PK! Oh. What was he doing there? The big centre half. No Spain goals now for the thick end of four years. But here he just rolled forward here and Navas found him. And that really should be an. At least a shot on target there for Spain. Gerard Pique over the crossbar. His team have been pushed to the limit by the Italians so far. Both defences standing firm. Brazil still wait for someone, not sure who yet. to really draw you in this one. Giladino. Juan Mata. Now the pace of Jesus Navas. Navas! We're far there to make a simple stop. Five minutes of normal time, plus any time left to play before we into the extra half an hour. Maggio. Two teams who have been their equals today. One, one, one. This will lay to rest the spectre, the ghost of Kiev a year ago, that 4-0 Spanish win when they really did outplay the Italians. Maybe the zenith that of Tiki Taka. But today, Italy have come with a game plan, it's worked. Pirlo now for Giladino's run here. Piquet's header was crucial. Arbeloa just boxed in here by Emanuele Giaccarini and by Aquilani. And far by the latter. Here's the trip by Aquilani. That's Howard Webb's last game of a ten and a half month season, the referee. And Giladino was just stopped there by a really good aware header from Gerard Piquet. Anxious look from Shakira. I think uh, Piquet's going to be okay. Became a dad this year. Spanish debut now almost five years ago against England in a friendly match. Got four goals early on in that uh, Spanish career, but long since. Last one came against Bosnia Herzegovina back in 2009. Iniesta. Ramos. Maybe a late Spanish head of steam here building up in Fortaleza. There's Xavi. Sergio Busquets, Andres Iniesta. Iniesta, Torres, and Mata, Iniesta the target, Maggio covering. A fine game for Maggio, the Napoli man has put in a proper shift here for Italy. And two really good first-half chances too, didn't he? Both work, Casillas. 
Here is Maggio again. Girardino. In the way with Jordi Alba. To play just under two minutes of normal time. No goals in this semi. This is one matter for Spain. Ahead, he's got Jesus Navas and Fernando Torres. Andres Iniesta. Mata. Fresh legs. Fresh ideas, maybe. Iniesta's little shimmy. Away comes Montalivo. Here's Iniesta again for Spain. to work on his own here, no support as yet. Last touch was Maggio's touch. Iniesta, Jordi Alba. Mata spins away from Bonucci. Arbala. Navas takes on Jacarini, beats him. In by Navas, looking for Torres, finding Torres. One matter on the turn. And the shot just bubbles through to Buffon. That was a late Spanish chance to win it. Torres, aware of where Mata was, found him. And there, off the inner thigh of Chiellini, I think, to take the sting off it. Now inside the last minute of normal time. Pirlo, caught by Torres, not yet seen the ball from the fourth official. The Portuguese uh, Pedro Perenza to tell us how much we'll play on for here in Fortaleza. Montalivo, a goal now is golden, a goal now wins it. Inside the first now three extra minutes. Chiellini, Aquilani. And the time is upon us at the Castellau. This is effectively now golden goal time, the last three minutes of added time. Before extra time is upon us then. There is uh, Montalivo, Chiellini. That Zuri surge may be here for Italy. Bonucci. Do you stick or twist here now with extra time so close? Aquilani. Bonucci for Candreva. Two teams who have given their all today. And in tough conditions, at the end of a long season. Pirlo, Pirlo now, Montalivo, Maggio, deflected cross, and here now Giladino! Flag was up anyway from Mike Malark, he wouldn't have counted. Assistance flag stops Prandelli's team in their tracks. Aquilani on there and he was, you see there Giladino, well beyond the last man. Giladino with the uh, maybe need for attention. It's now 30. Maybe just jarred something here as he stretched for this. As he goes here to challenge, does he just maybe overextend? Chubby. Lively and dangerous Jesus Navas. Juan Mata. Iniesta. And many time just a half minute remains in Fortaleza. A goal now for another team. Looks a date in Rio against Brazil. Mata. And Busquets for Iniesta. 
This the last attack for either team, maybe, and he has to pull back to by Candreva. Spanish free kick. And this will be the golden shot. Candreva on Iniesta. Free kick, which Chabi will take. And Spain will feel this is their chance to book a place in yet another major international final. A tired Torres waiting in the middle. Players pushed to the limit here in this hot, hot semi-final. One last chance of normal time here. A Chavi free kick. In by Chavi. Oh, it's across the face. And the whistle goes to end. Normal time from Howard Webb. And Italy have maybe exorcised the demons of Kiev a year ago. No 4 0 today. They have held the Spanish for 90 sapping, long, absorbing minutes. And this, the game's last chance of normal time. Off to Ross's heading away. That was the last action of a frantic. 90 minutes, which has given nothing to split these two nations. Tight, edgy, with extra time still to come here in Fortaleza. The score here at 90 minutes, Spain nil, Italy nil. in England's north. So Giovinco coming on, replacing the tired Alberto Giladino. Yes, of course, it's Another coin toss. And this time and it's two the it's two iconic it. captains come together okay. we'll to see and which way will we'll attack for the first the two 15-minute <laughs> periods of extra time in Fortaleza, beyond which may lie just the fourth ever Confederations Cup penalty shootout. You see some key saves, Buffon likewise. Clean sheets intact for now. What lies ahead? We are underway then for the first extra time period. Nothing between these two big European rivals, goalless in Fortaleza, absorbing in this second Confederations Cup semi-final. A straight half an hour, 15 each way, gone on the days of the old golden goal rule. Sergio Ramos here for Jesus Navas. Breaks to Xavi, ahead Torres, Navas has made the run here. The pace of Jesus Navas in the middle, Mata. Navas towards Mata, but knocked away by big Giorgio Chiellini for Italy. Spain begin the extra time here with a corner. Will they commit bodies forward or will they be cautious here, Spain? Four in the box. To now fifth in there too, it's in by Xavi. And here's Fernando Torres with Buffon who's got a good punch on it. Navas back in and Buffon behind it. Buffon there had a watch, that's with a crowd of bodies. Did so and held on well. Spain are going to bring on an extra midfield body now in Javi Martinez. For their final change, when next they can. Chavi's legs are too tight now to carry on. This is uh, Giaccarini. 
it's going to be Thomas coming off. It may be a chance now for Spain to use that false nine again, the almost non-striker system they won the Euros with in 2012. But then they used Fabregas as the, uh, as I say, the, the false nine they called him. That's Candreva. Into Aquilani. This is promising. And then Maggio blocks. Bonucci. Andrea Pirlo, 34, but still, he's ticking away like that Italian metronome he is. Here's Candreva. Out to Christian Maggio, he's working hard too, still. Back for Candreva. Crossing chance towards Giovinco! And here's Jacarino off the post! Major chance! Major chance! Giacarini! With Casillas here rooted, it comes back off the face of the woodwork, bludgeons it back off the post. Emanuele Giaccherini here goes mighty close to the Azzurri. Will they come closer? Torres off, Martinez on. Now we'll see, I think, that Spanish system with no. Recognised striker. It's Javi Martinez for Juan Mata for Jesus Navas. Navas taken out there by Jacarini. Fairly abrasive challenge there from the Juventus man. Having seen their post given a fair old thump. What can Spain do now at the other end? Xavi still at 33, directing deep in, extra time. In by Xavi, too long for Martinez, and Pique! Deflection, corner ball. De Rossi and Maggi here between them went to close him down and did a good job. Pincer movement here. Contest still is anybody's. Spanish corner taken by Juan Mata. In it goes towards Ramos, who's gone down. No oh, wheel appears. Navas takes up the charge. In by Jesus Navas. Still Brazil wait for who they'll face. Say so far today, both will deserve it. Chavi. Sergio Ramos here now for Javi Martinez. In the middle, he's got to Jesus Navas. Martinez couldn't quite find Matt and they get a second bite here. He's going to, I think, wait for the corner which he's got. Well, had he seen the far post there, he had Jesus Navas in lots of room and free. Spanish corner again. Just their third of the game so far. In by Xavi. And Piquet's in there, and Ramos in there too. And De Rossi, the Italian sentry there to get the ball away for the Azzurri. Ball almost dropped here for Sergio Ramos, off Chiellini. Well read there by Daniele De Rossi for Italy. Made sure the ball didn't drop here. It did come off the arm too of Chiellini maybe, it was not really called for. In by Mata this time. And the ball breaks for Ramos. Well, Ramos in the thick of things here for Spain as he often is. Has scored nine goals for the national team down the years. He maybe felt there was a foul and he got the shot away in the end. Maybe a handball here, look for Chiellini, just there, he does hit the arm. No real appeals. Let's have a look at this again. That's the early one by De Rossi when he pushed, it seemed, uh, Sergio Ramos. Again, no great calls there from Spanish players for the penalty. 
Maggio, Montalivo, De Rossi. Aquilani. Right now to Ricardo Montalivo. Ambitious. Not the kind of ball that tight legs want to chase that. Oh, his team have come so close, haven't they? Emanuele Giaccherini here of Juventus. Only three league goals in two years for Juve. Almost there, the Azzurri's hero. Got a goal against the Brazilians in that 4-2 defeat in their last group game a couple of days ago. And there by uh, Martinez towards Mata. Buffon takes the touch and takes the risk. Bonucci, Montalivo, and they trust uh, the goalkeeper and captain here, Buffon, with it. Oh, Giaccherini again for uh, the Italians, helped on its way by Pirlo. Xavi, now Javi Martinez on to Juan Mata for Spain. Just since the game now is getting more and more open in extra time. Navas for Xavi. Iniesta, Iniesta here still going on. Within here he's got Jordi Alba! What a chance! What a chance! Well, the left back who attacks like not many fullbacks in the world can. Two goals in the last game here and so close there to the going from goal in this semi final. Over the bar from Alba, having made a glorious one. Here's De Rossi, Bonucci, really is a game which is very, very finely balanced. Montalivo, now De Rossi. To leave up. Now Candreva sees the run of Jovinko offside. Does offer a more pacey option than Giladin, doesn't he, Jovinko? He was maybe too pacey, just got beyond the line. Too eager. It's Juan Mata on the back of a glorious Chelsea season in England's Premier League, but one of course the Europa League against Benfica. Is Mata Bonucci with the challenge with the foul, free kick Spain. And the players have lived with this pace so far, really well given uh, just how warm it is in Fortaleza. But a Spanish set piece, which their master Xavi is on. Debut for Spain, 13 years distant, now 33, but still one of the world's great midfield players and dead ball takers, Xavi Hernandez. <laughs> Tipped in by Xavi, oh, it's a header on from Gerard Piquet. And also again a flag there on the near side for Mike Malarkey. Again, they're one, two, three were caught. PK, one of them. Candreva with him, he's got Jovinko, and so to him, Maggio. Maggio's cross, he's Aquilani. Flat from the air by Ike Casillas. And now is when players like him, their experience become really, really important factors. Maybe Martinez beaten there by De Rossi, who's taken a knock. Aquilani. Now Jesus Navas.
イニエスタインスピレーションメビーミステイクフォンサンボリトディサイドセミファイナルピケイニエスタイニエスタイニエスタイニエスタイニエスタイニエスタイニエスタイニエスタイニエスタイニエスタイニエスタイニエスタイニエスタイニエスタイニエスタイニエスタイニエスタイニエスタイニエスタイニエスタイニエスタ Andrea Pirlo just there and Iniesta. As now the initiative baton is passed again to Spain with this set piece. Sergio Ramos can hit a, a good free kick, the、uh, centre back. Mata as well has scored his fair share of free kicks this campaign with Chelsea. Will either dare to pull rank though on the great Xavi. A World Cup winning goalkeeper against a phalanx of fellow World Cup champions. Xavi's finesse, or the rather more brute force, rudimentary style of Sergio, of Sergio Ramos. Two differing free kick takers. Both bring something different to Spain's dead ball party. Xavi or Sergio Ramos. And that stands there by two. It's Xavi! It's over the crossbar and not by an awful amount. Got the whip, but not the dip. And now the last minute of the first extra period. 50 minutes each way, of course. This is Maggio for Italy. It's Montalivo. Di Rossi. So it is Alberto Aquilani. Di Rossi. Giovinca. Piela. Side flag here against Aquilani. Spanish line staying high and staying、uh, pretty,、uh, pretty solid. Our below now for Javi Martinez. On a treble this year, his first year with、uh, Bayern Munich in Germany. The German league, the DFB Pokal, the National Cup, and of course the Champions League too at Wembley against Dortmund. Last month, PK. Now, Mata. Mata sees the run. And PK handball, surely. Handball, the cry. And handball, the decision. Yellow card here for Gerard PK for the deliberate handball. Can't do that. Simple as that. The hand of Gerard. Yellow card for Spain's centre back. Of sweat on the brow there of、uh, Prandelli. f e e l under pressure. His team likewise so far. Final moments of the first extra period. This is、uh, Chiellini. Montalivo. And the whistle ends the first period of extra time. Emanuele c i a c c a r i n i had the best Italian chance, a strike against the post with Ica Casillas beaten. Spain, too, have had their moments, though.、Uh, a good chance for Jordi Alba went by, but still, this semi final is in the balance. Still, we await that first goal. In the first period, here, it is still Spain nil, Italy nil. It will be, in theory,、uh, a quick turnaround here. No, referee Howard Webb has let players take longer to take on fluids, which, given the heat here, is absolutely essential.
Candeli's men have hit the post. Pirlo at 34 still remains their heartbeat, their hub. Xavi for Spain, likewise. Who's going to crack? Who's going to yield? The European Championships quarter-final in Vienna five years ago. These teams drew nil-nil, and Casillas saved twice. And Spain won on spot kicks 4-2. Will that come back to haunt the Azzurri, or can they take revenge over a team who in recent years have done them real damage? That kind of night. What you have down there are two sets of players who are exhausted. They've given their all for their nations here tonight. Another 15 plus, maybe, if there's no goal, the drama of the penalty shootout. Buffon begins his slow trudge back to his goal. And that way, goalkeepers, of course, could yet become the focal figures to see us and perform <laughs> one final fling one final 15 then to decide this semi before we go to penalties. Spain nil, Italy nil. It has been such a close call this semi final. Who will face Brazil in the American R on Sunday? Candreva. Juvinko stopped there by Sergio Ramos. Iniesta. Mata. And only Javi Martinez. Gerard Piquet. Sergio Busquets. A game where players' fitness levels are really given a stern examination. At the end of long European seasons, these games too, don't forget. Here's Piquet. Xavi. Iniesta. Oh, the ball blown, they're ready to try and find out, but it it's going to be a throw here for the Italians. How bold can you be in extra time second period with spot kicks on the horizon? Do you risk things? Do you stick or twist? That's where the coaches earn their money. Inside the Castle out. The fans enjoying an absorbing contest. The one trophy Spain in their recent dominant spell have never won. The Italians too have never won this trophy. Two going for the clean sweep. Four World Cups, one Euro for the Italians. And Giacarini. Pull back here now for Pirlo. Pirlo's ball in, it's come off for uh, Busquets. And Jovinko fouls Sergio Ramos. For Spain, one World Cup and now three Euros. They have become the uh, preeminent force in the last five or six years. The evolution of Tiki Taka. Pique, up to Mata here. Jesus Navas, away from Giacarini, but not away from Chiellini. Spain realised they couldn't really live with the Italians and 
maybe the Germans, the English in terms of physical play, so they thought, well, we have small, young players who've got good ball skills. Let's play to their strengths, and so Tiki Taka was born under Luis Aragones around six or seven years ago now, and it has brought Spain those three major titles. Two Euros, one World Cup, and now chasing the Confederations Cup. He's Iniesta. Martinez. Jordi Alba. And Juan Mata on the turn with the shot. In the end, some distance wide. Couldn't quite bend the ball around Keelini there, could he? The referee has done well to keep up with pace himself here, Howard Webb, after his uh, long season himself. This he says his last game of a ten and a half month campaign for the referee. It's a knock here for Keelini, maybe a, a touch of cramp, I think he's indicating there, isn't he, to the uh, Italian medical staff? Get the attention here from his own teammate Daniele De Rossi. You see there the players sweat. It's been a night for the players, I'm sure, to lose so much body weight. Matter here with Spain's most recent chance. Scored in that. European final against the Italians in Kiev 12 months ago. Four different scorers on that night in Ukraine. And a game to really put the players through the ringer here. Both have made their three allowed substitutions. No more can be brought on and we'll finish now with what we've got Dabosk has won it all but the Confederations Cup only Mario Zagallo has won his regional title in this case the Copa America the World Cup and the Confederations Cup Dabosk can join him in that exclusive club should Spain win this trophy Jovinko Touch on here for Candreva. Covering with Sergio Ramos, Candreva back his feet pretty smartly. And then uh, taken from those feet by one by uh, Jordi Alba. And these times with players tiring, the set pieces may become even more key than usual. This is where mistakes are made, perhaps. Defences maybe switch off for a moment because of the heat and the tiredness. That's when players can strike and punish and win matches. In by Pirlo here. Casillas lets it run across. Italian pressure stays on Spain. Spot kicks now nine minutes away. Guilani. Giaccarini. Giovinco. Now his clubmate from Juventus Giaccarini here will push on. He's got himself a throw again here. Actually ending the game on the front foot. Nails been chewed to the very quick by Cesare Prandelli. And now, late on, a goal here would maybe prove the winner. Jovinko looking to wriggle free. Held up there in the presence of Alvaro Avala. Jovinko, dancing feet. Stopped here by Busquets. And now Navas will break. 2 on 2 here. Bonucci took a risk. Buffon likewise with Mata on him. Spanish pressure. Pressure earns a Spanish throw in. Hey, hey. With 
seven minutes left to play of extra time. This gets for Iniesta. Here goes Emanuele Shakarini, the player hit the post in the first extra spell. Pirlo. Bonucci. In here to Jovinko. The man can't work with it. Sergio Busquets. Do you gamble? Do you send players forward here and try and win the game before penalties? And do you take your chance? It's 50-50 from the spot. Here's Arbola. Mata. Ahead Navas. Jesus Navas. Mata with him, Chavi. Every Italian player now behind the ball. Jordi Alba. Chavi. And Chavi! Oh, good hit against the post. Javi Martinez. Oh, Mata can't reach it. Mata so nearly made it, Mata. Made it count. After Chavi. So he shot big Buffon, but come back off the post. It's a good save. And then Martinez for Mata. So close to the winner. So close. Both teams now have hit the post in extra time. Absorbing still. Tight still. No goal still. Pirlo high, looking for Aquilani. Abelo, five to play, Chad, Mata, a shimmy, Aquilani, Pirlo tired, he's lost out here, here's Chavi, with him Navas, four to find here, Jesus Navas! And a touch away there from Gigi Buffon was a crucial touch too from the captain. Jesus Navas draws the save from Buffon. It is a Spanish corner. Goalkeeper with a crucial touch. Spain knocking on the door loudly in the game's final moments. Xavi's corner towards Martinez. And Ramos clipped into the far post here where Mata waits. Another corner. This is a colossal Spanish head of steam. Welter of chances. Another Spanish posse in the middle. In by Mata. Busquets. Still no goal. Still nil-nil. Still a semi. There to be won for somebody. Nearing hero and villain time now, the penalty shootout. Bonucci. Alba nips in now Busquets for Iniesta. Xavi. Not to Javi Martinez. Slipped in here looking for Matra Navas. Given as a goal kick. And both Matra Navas were on this at the far post. Late Spanish chances, good ones at that. Almost uh, deceived his own player, but this is the early Navas shot which drew the best from Buffon. It may have crept in that, you know. It may have found the bottom corner, but for Buffon's brilliance. <laughs> Away by Buffon. Two to play before penalty kicks. 
loved by the neutral and hated by those who have to take part and by those who lose on them. Iniesta. Now Juan Mata. Uh, below for Jesus Navas. Mata now look to plot and scheme and in doing so finds Sergio Ramos. In towards Mata here. Navas around the back post. And then there was one, one minute to play of extra time. Spain nil, Italy nil. No goals, but so much to enjoy about this fixture. Semi-final, which has seen both teams go close. Very close, but not close enough as yet. Pirlo. Montelivo. And Heady's got Maggio here, maybe one last chance for the Azzurri. Maggio's been in looking for Giovinco. PK clear. To play. An extra time, just 30 seconds in Fortaleza. Candreva. Candreva's cross. Iniesta's touch now, the break on maybe here with Javi Martinez. 4-1-3 for Spain, the overload is theirs. Martinez for Jesus Navas. Navas, promising. Jesus Navas, the pullback for Martinez. Here's Mata. Has the chance gone? Juan Mata back in. De Rossi diving header clear. Mata once more, three to aim for here. There's the cross. Chiellini clear. Giacchini miss kicks, but does clear eventually. Retrieved here by Sergio Ramos. Now, Jesus Navas, now or never, in normal play. Sergio Ramos for Spain. Every Italian shirt here behind the ball. Iniesta, tired Chiellini. De Rossi clears and then an exhaustion collapses. The game's dying embers. Referee checks his watch. And blows his whistle, it is going to be a penalty shootout here, the first of this Confederations Cup. Nothing between the two teams who were split by four goals a year ago in the European final. The world champion Spain here have been held after extra time the score is Spain nil, Italy nil to come penalties. Well, sapping. Exhausting, but absorbing. Now through the drama. There will be a winner. There'll be heroes. There may be a villain too. Ahead, that is what awaits these players and us. A global audience watching on here in Brazil's northeast. Fortaleza in Ceara State. We'll see just the fourth ever Confederations Cup penalty shootout. Another three have all involved Mexico. None have involved Spain or uh, Italy, it's worth saying. Italy have down the years faced eight shootouts, Spain seven. Spain winners of four. They've lost three. Italy have won three and lost five. Italy's last one was at the Euros when they beat the English in their quarter final. Their last defeat was to Spain at the quarters of the Euros in Austria back in 2008. On that occasion, Casillas saved twice from De Rossi, who's here, and from Antonio Di Natale as well. Cesc Fabregas scored the decisive Spanish kick. He's on the bench, of course, injured. It can hurt, it can sting, it can be cruel. It can, uh, for neutrals, be utterly compelling. The shootout. 
Russian roulette with the football. And just listen to the noise. Not a soul is left. 56,000 plus in the Castellau, and they have loved this game. Who do the neutrals back? The world champions or the Azzurri? There has to be a winner. There has to be a loser. Five kicks to start with, then maybe sudden death. Winner takes all. Howard Webb needs a list of ten names, five from each team. The five potential four guys. Well, these moments goalkeepers love, not sure referees do. Spain's last shoot had their semi final of the Euros against the Portuguese after a goalless draw a year ago. They won that 4 2. They did miss one through Xavi Alonso, who's not here, of course, injured. And again, Fabregas scored the decisive kick in that shootout. But these are the moments people look back and remember. Decisive moments. Spanish players who've won the lot. Italian players too, for that matter. Neither nation has won this, the Confederations Cup, for a shot at it against Brazil in three days' time. Spot kicks will split the teams. So who takes the first one? Be the first to strike or be the first to receive? Goalkeepers with huge, deep respect. Thick end of 300 caps between them. Casillas and Buffon. Someone can here seize their nation a place in the Confederations Cup final. One last captain's pep talk before it becomes man on man. One against one. The art, the dark art of the penalty shootout. Casillas, Vienna, five years ago, broke Italian hearts with two saves in a shootout. As the goalkeeper Casillas goes towards that goal at the right-hand end here from where I sit in the Castellau. Casillas, who denied De Rossi and Di Natale five years ago to seal Spanish progress in the Euros in Austria. Will he again be the man to break Italian hearts? Casillas will face the first kick. Taken here by Lazio's Italian Cup winner, Antonio Candreva. Six Serie A goals last season but I doubt pressure to face like this in his career too often only Kandreva's 10th cap here and he is the first to try his luck against Casillas Kandreva oh the Penenka the chip and Casillas is up in his face and the Italian is the first to fire Oh, it's cheeky, it's almost rude there from Candreva. The wedge, the sand wedge with Casillas going the wrong way. Italy one up. For Spain, their first taker here is the wise old head 
of Chabi. Chabi, oh, well taken. Really well taken. Went for power, went for purpose and placement and found the lot. One one, both kicks effective so far. Alberto Aquilani next for Italy. Aquilani, these days of Fiorentina in Florence, with the latest pressure kick for Italy. Oh, he scores two down low past the series, so he went the right way this time. And able to get there. 2-1 Italy. The pressure has not told either team so far. Next for Spain, the man whose goal won a World Cup three years ago, Andres Iniesta. Of all the players, surely he won't fail. Iniesta against Buffon. Iniesta well taken himself. Again low, again power, and again the goalkeeper has no answer. So far, four picture-perfect penalties. De Rossi, who was denied by Casillas in Vienna in the shootout in the Euro quarter-final five years ago. De Rossi and Casillas lock horns again five years on. De Rossi scores this time. A demon exorcised by De Rossi. And now 3-2 to Italy. We don't save those, not even Ica Casillas. Gerard Piquet, centre-half. For Del Bosque and for Spain, for parity. The sixth kick of the shootout. Shakira, his partner watching. PK under pressure. PK. The pressure means nothing. Three apiece. Well, two teams here of really savvy players. Winners of major trophies. One of the more maybe inexperienced players here now is this young man, Sebastian Giovinco, Atamant from Juventus, little man with lots of ability, will he here live up to the pressure on those little shoulders? Oh, Giovinco cheeky, almost there, waited to second guess Casillas, kept his head can see us yet to save any of the first four for Italy. 4-3 for the Azzurri. Pressure which Del Bosque appears for now to be oblivious to. The fans less so. Sergio Ramos, centre-back, with the penalty. For 4-4, Ramos, oh, runs it home. Brute force, bludgeoned by Sergio Ramos. Now it is effectively sudden death. The fifth and final kicks of the normal rotation. Italy look towards Andrea Pirlo. Andrea Pirlo, the architect, the playmaker, now the penalty taker, Andrea Pirlo, oh, and he too has outfoxed the goalkeeper. Cheeky. Like Giovinco there, he almost waited for Casillas to make the first move. Five for Italy. Now this really the first real pressure kick of the shootout. Juan Mata for the world champions, the European champions, twice over Spain. Mata scored in the final of the Euros against the Italians a year ago. 
Major moments matter. 5-5. Five, five. Now it is sudden death. Neither goalkeeper has got near to one as yet. Spain 5, Italy 5 in this shootout. Brazil in Rio on Sunday, wait for someone. Ricardo Montalivo next here for Italy. Montalivo. Rolled home, precision. And Milan's next captain shows he can thrive and on the spot. Sergio Busquets, defensive midfielder. Not a goal scorer, just one league goal last season. Never a scorer for Spain. Busquets in the shootout at 5-6 to keep Spain in this. Busquets, Buffon goes the wrong way. It is six apiece. You have to say as well so far, under pressure, perfect penalties. He is really thriving in the heat in every sense of the battle. Italian centre-back, Leonardo Bonucci against Spain's captain, Ike Casillas. Casillas, after a tough season, maybe looking for redemption here in his nation's eyes. Bonucci on the crossbar from Bonucci! The first failure. The Italian centre-back over the top, lean back, and it hands Spain now, and Jesus Navas the initiative. Six six. The red mark means if Jesus Navas scores, it is in many people's eyes the dream final in Rio on Sunday. Spain against Brazil. Navas for the final. Navas! You cannot stop Spain. Another final for La Furia Roja and Del Bosque. 7-6 in the shootout. He had Zuri's heart broken. Bonucci's miss. Sunday, winners here on spot kicks by 7-6 after a hard-fought goalless draw in Fortaleza. Jesus Navas.